What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Kaguya Sama Love is War Season 2, Episodes 3 and 4. Um, very excited to find out what happens if we're gonna have more just hilariosity, more hilarious scenarios, more just funniness, or if we actually are gonna have some slice of life rom com get to the nitty gritty moments like at the end of last season i'm very excited don't forget if you guys want early access and full length of this show and all the other shows i'm watching up to four episodes ahead one week all that is available on the patreon links are down below like always don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel check out the other social medias instagram tiktok twitch all at dapper darius much appreciated y'all let's hop right on into this um kaguya sama love is war season two episodes three and four Let's do this. There's a full moon tonight. Let's have a moon viewing party. So got the fan. Really? An astronomer. I do think space is the next frontier. Shouts out to my celestial body lover. Okay, just Kaguya and Miyuki sitting on the roof on a blanket watching the moon. How shall I go on the attack? Jesus. That's actually what's happening? Wow. That's how Miyuki talking about him squirming now <laughs> little did you know reverse uno card on you all right it's an indirect kiss oh that's so funny Miyuki normally would kind of freak out over that but he really doesn't give a shit he is so invested into this wow that is a <laughs> While his heart is devoted to the moon. They're going through hyperspace. The hyperspace of love. I've never even heard of the great square of Pegasus. Aguia is about to have a heart attack. <laughs> See, if Miyuki ever wants to game on Kage, it just has to be during a night like this, because he's just not worried about her at all. He's just gaming effortlessly. Princess Kaguya. Like, uh, from Naruto. Like, wasn't she, like, Queen of the Moon? Something like that? I never finished Naruto Shippuden, but you guys know what I'm trying to say. It is. It's very sad. I do love that double entendre. Like, I would have never let Kaguya go. Meanwhile, Kaguya is right next to her, you know, with the story. It actually fits pretty damn well. I had no idea there was an actual story about Kaguya. The blood moon split in half. Ashes all. Is he just now? Yeah. He's getting a different perspective on when he was saying things. <laughs> okay, Kamehameha, chill out. Let's choose what to keep, whatever you can carry home. Say ho. Mm, yeah, I remember that. This is going to be like a little mini recap of things in season one. <laughs> Ishigami's like, damn, I'm kind of sad I missed the first five episodes of the show. I do remember that too. <laughs> he said, yep, like this. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, the movie they were going to go see, right? Having a little mental flashback recap of all the all the shenanigans we've gotten ourselves into over the past year, you know? What is, what is there, a secret an entrance to a... Yeah, Ishigami just knew about this and never had anything. What? Okay. Gotta feel weird, man. I know that feeling. Feeling like so many memories, so many moments. I will never be able to make or experience again. You know, we're at this room. It all hits you at once, you know. Oh, and then one person crying makes the other person feel it. And then they start crying. We have such an emotional connection to this place, you know? Oh, god damn, that felt crazy. That felt final. They need that at like, the end of a season or something, you know? Kanpai! I wonder who our successors. I wonder what's gonna happen with that. I never thought we would leave the student council. I thought we'd always be here. Damn. That, especially for one who, yeah, one who's as diligent to their studies and work ethic, like Yuki. That's a huge thing, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I don't worry. I'm with you. I'm, I'm your, I'm, I'll be your supporter. Your comedy adventures. I know. That's how much of a joke that is. You becoming the president. Probably his name. Oh. Definitely not Mr. Shirogane. Miyuki. Miyuki-san? Miyuki-chan? That kind of frivolous girl. <gasps> oh, even a nickname. Mew. Mew? Mr. Mew? Let's say. Mikaicho? Very true. I understand that. Finding a balance between work, homework, and a job, you know? Life, day-to-day, -day, extracurriculars. All that would be rough. But obviously you want him to do that. You just don't want to ask him because it's a lot of extra work for him. Ooh, with the, the lights of the, the freeway, the cars driving past. She's telling herself this over and over again, trying to convince herself to not be selfish, even though all she wants in the world is for him to stay and for them to stay together, you know? she It technically is selfish for her to ask that. There is no advantage, yeah, so. I get it. I truthfully get it. I know, you only want to say Kaicho, right? Oh. Hmm, he just came out and said it. Ooh, I love this song when they play it, you know? Come on, say it, Kaguya. You want me to be president one more year? Come on, come out and say it. Is he, is he applying for it? Is he doing it? He won, he won this battle. He won this battle. He got you. Today's battle result, Shirogane wins. Yes, indeed. Well fought. Well deserved. Okay. Shout out. New character? To be continued next week. Ooh, we still have an election. Just because he's, you know, doesn't mean he automatically wins, right? 
Hell yeah. All right, on to episode four. Student council has disbanded and the, the campaign season has begun. They three days and they haven't said a word to each other. Damn. <laughs> you're you're telling me hayasaka i have said the same thing a hundred times she's had enough she's been pushed to the limit but she'll never actually snap because this is her employer you know but Oh, hi. I was say, okay, same hair, same eyes, but it sounded nothing like Hayasaka. I was like, what the heck? She is really going at it to try to prove Kaguya wrong. I know, right? If I was at a bookstore getting some manga and a girl like Hayasaka came up and tried to game me, she might walk home with a Dapper Darius. I'm, I'm, I'm not joking. Look at Kaguya. She is really good. I like how he's asking her genuine questions. I used to sell computers, so I used to ask the same thing. What are you going to be using it for, man? Are we talking gaming? Are we talking video editing? What are we doing? Um, in a machine press. Oh, that's funny. Cat videos. Yeah. Funny that even Hydraulic Press got a shout out on a Kaguya video. They have such a dope YouTube channel. <laughs> Her jaws dropping 40 times. Now, now he's uh, relating to her. Now she looks adorable when she's sleeping. First off, did she actually fall asleep? Second off, Yuki stayed there for three hours waiting for her? That's crazy. Okay. Okay. He's like, I know. Trust me. She is a damn actress, I'm telling you so hard to turn down there's not a single chance i'm turning that down conceptual ambiguity by a very accommodating girl just what is a girlfriend <laughs> she's making him question the concept of <laughs> I did not know Hayasaka was so invested in this. I mean, she did just want to prove her point. True. Don't worry, Hayasaka. You would have scored me. You know, I'm not saying I'm as good as Miyuki. Not even close, but damn, Hayasaka lose. Okay. Like who? Ishigami. Okay. Kaguya. I was thinking it was going to be Ishigami for a little funniness, but. <laughs> uh oh. Rumors are buzzing. President's coming specifically for Kaguya. <laughs> Look how she walks. Me being behind the building after school? An after school rendezvous? How's the situation on the ground? They have reporters on school tube. That's hilarious. Everyone's watching this secret rendezvous. We literally have like a hundred heads. Look at this. That is hilarious. enemy of woman. So what are you going to do? Because either plan is not going to be 
not gonna work out. But maybe, maybe the time has come. Care about her too much, keep making excuses. Might as well just do it. As the sun comes through in, he's chickened out. Whether it's campaign speeches or anything else. I like how she like seductively came in and whispered that too, so they really wouldn't know what she said, you know? They could have been talking about dating, could have been talking about something else, you know? A tie, genuinely. The election arc begins. Okay. Miko Ino. That could be a new character. Jesus. <laughs> okay. Okay, now we're getting a little overconfident. I don't know about that. Damn, don't just call him a burnout like that. Miko Ino. Okay, sweet. I swear I saw glasses on her just a moment ago, but I guess not. I really like her design so far. Oh, her friend's one of the glasses. And she's really short. <laughs> Shouts out to them, putting in the work. They're really going for it. I do like how Miyuki always got the boy Ishigami on a squad, though, you know? <laughs> you sound like villains. That's hilarious. One, I don't think that's a smart play. Two, I was not expecting that. I know, if you actually knew her, you would never say that. Okay. That makes a little more sense as to their connection there. Her piano skills. The five languages being quilingual is insane. My goal is to be quadlingual when I'm an adult. So the fact that she's in high school and she's quilingual freaking blows my mind, but. I like this background right here. It's badass. I won't lie. If I got a flyer, I, I wouldn't like it. I'm not a huge flyer guy. Really? <laughs> Just in the office her, on her lonesome. And then Chica finally realizes. Shouts out Chica. That was a funny episode. Uh, okay. Talk about some funny episodes. Like I said, I'm enjoying where we're going. We are having some more little mini arcs when it comes to our characters and their longevity in the school. We are dealing with us, the passing of a new year. Now we are dealing with re-election and will Miyuki be re-elected? I do like this little arc with Miko Ino. Um, I thoroughly am enjoying what's going on with Kaguya, whether it be Kaguya under the moonlight, whether it be Kaguya and Hayasaka. Hayasaka's acting, very, very good, very hilarious. But, um... Overall, I am excited to see where this election art goes. I'm assuming my boy Miyuki's gonna win. I do like Miko as a character though so far. Um, Hayasaka's moving up there is one of my favorites. Thoroughly intrigued to see where this goes, and I still want them to fall in love together and actually have it. So, with that being said, hopefully you guys did enjoy today's episode. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you guys want early access and full length, up to four episodes one week, check out that Patreon. Links for everything are down below, like always. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.